Hi guys, welcome back once again. In today's video, we are going to uh, discuss about NX Journal. So it is very helpful, especially if you are a beginner. Okay. So what is NX Journal? It's very simple. Automate your code for your specific need, specific action. Like I want to create a sketch. You want to create a block. You want to extrude a block. You can actually automate the code you need for uh, nx open to perform that action so only thing is you should know how to run your code and how to edit your code based on your needs like i will give you a few tips okay so that's how it is like uh, so before we begin like uh, you have to choose uh, what language you, you are going to get the code like which language you want your code to be automated so for that you just open your nx uh, window modeling go to preferences user interface and the c sharp for time being i'm just selecting c sharp we are already using c sharp okay so for the existing youtube videos i have used c sharp so that's why i'm selecting c sharp it's okay then you can actually go to this developer tab and you can start recording it it will ask you for the location where you want to save the file so you can actually take any location, give your name, so let it be journal123, so it started recording because you can see the green color square box for all the features in your ribbon, so like we can actually record here after, so I am going to create a phase, uh, hole actually uh, on this face, I am just selecting it. And I'm going to create a hole using our cylinder like we have already seen this using our uh, NX open program I have already made a video for that so if you want you can go and check it out so usually it takes time for the first time so you have to wait for uh, some time like that it's getting load uh, it's getting loaded like uh, the few libraries the the NX open libraries and the .NET libraries so you need to wait a little bit so now yeah now it's it's done I'm just changing the direction and I'm just clicking apply so it's created so I'm going to stop it now I'm just from here also you can edit or you can go to your folder and you can actually edit it like uh, I think I have saved here it will be opened in your Visual Studio so for that ok let it load it let it load so my tips are like uh, record only if it is necessary if you don't need it means if you know how to create any specific feature using an open if you know how to code then do it don't record don't waste your time add it journal to your custom right? that we are going to do it actually like uh, it's, it's still loading i think and uh, try to integrate with the existing solutions the thing is like uh, if you if you have uh, already an existing project then you have to integrate with the uh, existing project like you have to integrate this function with the existing uh, project and run with the predefined inputs this is very important which is like you should execute only what is needed don't try to execute from the top uh, from the uh, very basic to the complete ending which will not help you to get what you need like you will get it anyway but the thing is like you have to do lot of edits lot of uh, 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 code cleanup you have to do so try to avoid uh, such things like uh, you specifically run the journal like uh, uh, for a specific uh, you have to record it only if it is needed for such particular action like for example i did it here just to create the hole not for the creating block and creating a 
uh, means selecting uh, other stuff like how to create a blog all these things i i don't run i have my intention is to create a hole on the top of the blog so that's why i prefer to use the journal only for such a specific action okay that's why okay here is our code so you have a lot of uh, see you we have some okay some 170 180 lines of code so we need to clean it up like uh, first of all remove all the undo marks so which is not needed and undo marks and the uh, these items you have to pass your own uh, like uh, you have to pass the body don't ne never use this kind of uh, find object and block this is hard coded value hard coded value since it's only for the current part maybe this is the default name and next as assigned so if you use the same code in other uh, another nx open or another part it it might be different and you will be get crash means your code will not work it will throw error okay so i will say just uh, pass your input body for example so no need this one is not needed you need create description expressions are not needed we are not going to do anything this because you can see it's a zero scalar may be needed and find object again pass your own body own face okay so these are the important points and uh, see this is called a zooming so it's like it will automate everything that's the problem so you should not move your mouse actually you can actually uh, remove this code it's not even needed so it's kind of uh, not working in this way okay that's it gone i reverse the direction it so that's why so based on it you can do it uh, and this undo again not needed um, it is needed delete undo mark because we never created because we already deleted all the undo marks so you can remove this okay okay expression we don't need anything deleting it's not needed undo mark not needed create a cylinder this is being duplicated we already created a builder and uh, again it is throwing up some duplicate see sometimes it happens so what you do is just uh, see the cylinder builder tool we just created only one we, we never created two cylinders actually so we put only one hole so just going to delete all this cylinder builder tool which is not even needed My keyboard and mouse aren't cooperating with me at the moment. Yeah, I think that's it. So you see, it was one eight lines of code previously. Now it just reduced to hardly sixty or seventy because it's, I'm uh, we have a lot of gaps in here. So most probably it will even come down to twenty or thirty lines only. So you don't have to. Even the scalar, I, I don't think it's needed. We can even delete it. Where well, exactly they used somewhere, yeah, to create a point. So, yeah, whatever the record, you can just keep it, it's fine. So, whatever it is not needed, you can pass your own because even for the point, you can pass your own points, right? So, use a directed point like we used to do it in block trailers. So, in, in our previous video, you, if you have a look, you will come to know how actually these points can be uh 
can be passed from the user input like user can select the point and we can actually access the points coordinates xyz okay you can even select uh, pass your own point that's it guys this is how you can easily create your own um, your own block your own features whatever it is okay so that's how it is so you, you don't have to worry about um, uh, how to actually write the code for each and everything you can actually do it all by yourself i'm here to give you tips so you just make use of it so this is how you edit it and you can make you can just uh, create a function out of it so that's how we are going to use it actually suppose like uh, I'm going to just call a function for example I'm just writing because it's not going to work it uh, means I'm not going to explain how it's going to work but you can make use of this uh, particular uh, way how we usually do it actually once we run any NX journals so we kind of uh, use it like this actually so the arguments you can pass the point and uh, sorry point and uh, you, you can pass the face or you can pass the body if is required so anyway you can get all the faces from uh, in from body so you can pass body and and point that's all and all I have we can actually use for creating this kind of feature okay and if you want you can pass these parameters as a double that's that's how easy it is actually so that's why I mentioned here try to integrate with existing solutions so you you can create this function and put all everything inside this function okay like this okay i don't know what happened today but my keyboard and mouse is not cooperating again and again I'm not going to decorate it guys okay, just uh, nothing but I have mentioned where exactly you need to change so you just have a look so we need to get the uh, get the body if you get the body you can get a face like I have explained it already in the selection objects you can get a face and you can get a point like a user input so basically you have to concentrate on how to remove this kind of hard code values which is very important so you should not use this kind of uh, hard coded values so we call it as hot coder which means it will uh, irrespective of your uh, your uh, uh, like inputs it will keep looking for this particular uh, things in your model that's why I keep saying don't use this kind of find object especially concentrate on removing this find object from your function then you are good to go you can do a, a, anything like you, you just pass like this what I have done point and body like I have explained previously in a lot of videos you can look at it so you can even pass these values uh, uh, from another uh, another parameter so you can actually pass these values the double values diameter and height so you can actually make it so that's how you create whatever you want like you you can create a sketch you can you can do a lot of drawing work you can do a lot of uh, modeling features uh, you can create it using this journal so it's very very useful guys just make use of it actually so you don't have to struck on something and you do you don't have to wait for uh, anybody to help you just google it and you uh, try to find any solution or uh, get some idea from my other videos under this video so you are good to go so it's very simple very easy very straightforward actually okay guys thank you